Hi YouTube audience. Today is May 13th and here in 2008 here in Nebraska we have our primary. If you're from Nebraska I hope you will do what my mom and I did. Vote. Okay? But I'm not going to talk about the election. Perhaps I'll talk about that another time. I want to talk about something more important. As I said today is Tuesday, May 13th. Three years ago today my life was changed. My father's earthly life ended as he passed away unexpectedly after some health problems. If you don't mind, I'll read a posting that I did about my dad soon after that. This is one of the hardest postings I have ever written and done. On Friday, May 13th, my life and my family's life changed and we will never be the same again. On that day, my father, my daddy, my friend, William M. D. died. What was my father... Who, I'm sorry, who was my father? Well, I thought I'd share a letter I have written to him. Dear Daddy, I'm so glad God blessed me with having you, William M. D., as my father. You were not only a great father, but a good friend. You were also a wonderful grandfather to your three grandkids and a good husband to mom. I know all three of your children loved you each in our own way. It is still hard to believe you are no longer with us, but I am so glad for having you in my life. You made the world a better place for me and all who knew you. I'm also blessed and comforted by what happened in your life and soul. As I shared at your wake a few days before you died, I asked if I could pray for you, and you said, please do. When I got done saying a short prayer without me saying anything, you prayed. You prayed something like this, God, I do accept you as my personal Savior. I know you are in heaven today because of you accepting Jesus Christ. You're not in some other place or some waiting place. Like the one thief on the cross, God welcomed you home. I don't think it was a mistake or accident you prayed that prayer, then two days later died peacefully in your sleep. I love you, Daddy, until we see each other again. Love your forever friend and son, Billy. My friend Cal Thomas wrote this in one of his newsletters. Death isn't something to fear, but it is something to prepare for. He had heard the quote in the CBS series Touched by Angel. My dad, I believe, was prepared. Are you? If not, you can be by putting your faith in Jesus. And that is you accept Jesus. Just like you would accept a Christmas gift under your tree. Your tree. There's nothing you can do but accept him. But you have to accept him for him to be part of your life. The Bible says, whoever will call on the name of the Lord will be saved. Romans 10:13. Thanks for letting me share this with you. If I can be a help to you, let me know. God bless you, Dad. Till next time, I'm Billy. See you.